Hey guys and welcome to Beard Matters. Today's video is going to be about how to grow your beard and more importantly than that, how to get the best out of the beard that you're able to have. Now why have I worded it that way? Here's why. First off, you can't just look through pictures of a magazine, decide on the beard you want and go for that. That's not how this is going to work. So before you get any idea of what you're going to want to do with your beard or how you're going to be able to have it, you have to find out what you're able to get from your beard and what kind of beard you're going to have. So the first one I want to go over with this is the importance of just not cutting. Just stop shaving. Don't shave for months. Don't try and grow a beard but trim certain areas and try and keep it neat and tidy because that's going to be a one step forward, two step backwards process. The reason I say that is if you want a beard like mine and you're able to have a beard like mine, if you're trimming neck lines, trimming jaw lines, trimming cheek lines, you're going to get to a stage where your beard's getting longer but it's gonna look thin and straggly. I see a lot of these videos from guys where they've got fantastic beards down to here, but while they're talking, you can see everything underneath that. You can see their whole entire t-shirt. You can see all the text, all the writing. The beards are long, they're fantastically great and long and healthy, but they're not thick. Often what causes that is bad cutting. Um, you know, I can turn to the side and you can see mine, my beard is very thick and deep. It comes out at the jawline. It's because I learned a long time ago to just stop trimming and let my beard do what, what it wants to do. Going through that process meant I looked very tatty around the neck at times and anyone that could, could see up to my beard could see how untidy it looked. Um, but you've got to go through this if you want to see what your beard's capable of doing, particularly at the early stages. And that's going to allow you to see how your beard is going to grow. My advice would be to give it at least three months. Um, give it longer if you can. Once it gets to the stage where it looks unbearably tatty and you just feel you need to do something with it, try and find yourself a really good beard barber particularly a beard barber. Um, no offence to those that don't, but they tend to often cut far more often than we want them to. Explain that you're growing your beard, you just want it eaten up. That's what they'll do, then give it another growth spurt and see what happens from there. So to stop, so like I say, stop cutting, stop trimming it and see what it wants to do. Along the lines of stopping and not doing is don't compete. Don't compete or don't compare because at this stage you need to just establish what your beard is going to do. Once you've got an idea of what your beard's going to do, it's going to become more and more unmanageable. You know, this is a video I want to do in the future, is big beard problems. Those of us that have big beards realise that you get a lot of, I get a lot of people come in my shop and say, oh, wow, that's a beard. I don't know the truth about the effort of having this beard. It's, a, it's very high maintenance. And I'm sure anyone with a big beard will say that. But um, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's, it's about stop cutting it, just letting it do what it wants to do. You need to get the importance of looking after your beard once it starts to become high maintenance. They can become very dry. It, there can be lots of irritation. Your skin can get damaged. It can get irritated. It can get sore. It can get itchy. That can go into, that can affect the beard. You, there can be flakiness. So you really, it's really important to look after your beards. A lot of people are going to say they don't use products and that's up to them. But the most honest I can be is products are only there to help. Um, good products are. If you've tried products that aren't doing anything, maybe try other products. It's a bit like saying, I don't service my car, my car doesn't need a service. Well, any car's gonna be a bit better if you look after it and service it. It's as simple as that and beards are the same. The most honest I can be when it comes to trying products is to join some beard groups. Try not to join groups owned by brands, even my own, you know, don't join a, a group owned by a beard brand itself and then ask opinions. Try and find non-biased groups, get chatting to some guys, send them messages once you get on friendly terms and ask them what they use. Um, look at the companies yourselves, find the ones you don't look of, look at their ingredients, give some of their items a try because you know there's lots of crap brands out there but there's also lots of really good brands out there and there's, you can't say what makes a good brand and what doesn't. It's good ingredients but you might prefer a brand that uses thicker oils with a more sticky substance that's gonna put, put, put a bit more hold in your beard and be a bit more harder to apply, but you might that might be your preferred option. You might prefer a thinner oil that's going to get to your skin a bit easier and soak in perhaps a little bit quicker. Um, us, for example, at Beard Manners, we use two thin oils, two medium oils and two thick oils. So you've got a nice constant consistency of a mix. They mix together really well. Um, they, they work together well. It's not oily. It doesn't, I mean, it's obviously oil because it's oily, it's oil, but it doesn't leave that horrible oily residue. It soon comes off. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's a nice texture but I've done it that way, so that's what I like for my beard. It's not saying a thick one is wrong or a thin one is wrong. You've got to find your preference. You're only gonna get that if you try things out. As importantly as the beard products is definitely the beard routine. 
I've done a lot of videos on this. You're gonna find loads of video videos on this. And when it comes to a beard routine, the people that are giving you their routine are gonna be giving you the routine that works best for them. When someone comes to me in a DM or a message and asks for a routine, I will generally try and look at their profile, get an idea of their beard or ask for a picture of it or ask what it's like, get a description before I give my opinions because it does vary and can vary. And you know, the other thing of a routine is there's no proven method of what works best for every beard because every single beard is different. So a lot of it's gonna be trial and error, but you know, look at videos, again, ask opinions, trial and error, find a really good routine that you and your beard both like, listen to the beard and go with that. On the products, I'm not gonna go on about products too much. I've done this a lot on other videos. Something that I took a long time to learn and I've seen a big, I've been, I saw a huge difference once I eventually listened to it is that beard shampoo and beard wash does make a huge difference. Um, a, good, a good beard shampoo shouldn't have any sulfates in. Uh, beards aren't as tough as head hair is. So, you know, they need to be very natural. Um, they don't need to give deep cleans. They're meant to just give it a nice rinse through and not to strip it of all the oils and the goodness that it has naturally. You also don't want to be stripping the products that you're putting in there to make your beard feel good. So definitely, it's one of the best things I can advise guys is a beard shampoo made a world of difference in my beard. On an equal part of that is overwashing. Do not overwash your beard. I've heard so many people say, yeah, but I work out, I work on a building site, I work in a factory. Rinse it with warm water, guys. Rinse it with warm water as often as you want. No matter what you're using, don't keep washing your beard because all you're going to do is strip everything out. And again, you're going to be ice cutting up a hill on trying to get that improved beard growth. The next thing on my list is going to be about diet and overall health. They're obviously important for anything, for the health of your skin, your teeth, nail growth, um, vision, hair growth, beard growth, mind, mindfulness, you know, everything. So I always say about this with health in my videos, I'm not saying you have to live off of vegetables and fruit and rice and a little bit of meat, you know, that's not what I'm saying. If you live that way and you're super into fitness, then fantastic. But it's more about giving your body the good stuff that it needs to operate at its best. Have your burgers, have your KFC, have some ice cream, have a cookie, do all of that stuff. But more importantly than anything else, make sure your body is getting the right amount of nutrition and macros that it needs. Make sure it's getting potassium, iron, all the fibers, vitamins, various fats, proteins, they just give it everything, different acids, make sure your body is getting what it needs because that's when you're gonna get the best performance from your body. You know, your body heals itself a lot. The body's a fantastically well-worked machine, but you're gonna get the best out of it when it's being looked after. So, excuse me. So water intake is also vital as well as good sleep. Exercise is another good one. Um, the reason exercise can be good is again, it comes down to the health, you're looking after your body, flood, blood flow, everything else. Um, but as much as anything else, it's the testosterone. And this is something I've tested in myself over the years. I've got to be honest, I do see a difference in the thickness and fullness of my beard, um, a little bit in the growth when I'm working out to when I'm not. I, I do, I mean, I work out, I lift reasonably heavy. I'm not working out to change myself Aesthetically, I work out more for mental health, but yeah, when I'm lifting, I definitely see a more positive reaction in my beard. Creates a lot of testosterone that is proven to be good for beard growth. Mixing that with your protein, of course, as well. Protein makes up a massive part of hair growth and beard growth and, and the quality and health of it as well. So mixing the exercise and the protein together is a fantastic one. The main thing, guys, the main thing when it comes to healthy beard is loving and embracing the beard that you have. You know, something I say in the shop a lot, I do get a lot of people come in here and comment on my beard. And you know, the first thing I say to everyone is size doesn't matter because it doesn't. A healthy beard, in my opinion, is far superior to a big, thick, fat beard. Um, you know, and I can see it when people come in, when someone comes in and I see they look after their beard, whether it's an inch or 20 inches, that doesn't matter. A healthy beard is a fantastic beard. So have your patience, look after yourself, look after your beard, you know, Start from the basics that we've said with this video and keep an eye on it. Another good bit of advice I will say as well is don't check daily growth. Don't keep looking at yourself and measuring yourself. You're never gonna see anything that way. Once a month or once every two months, even better if you've got the patience for that. Take a picture in a similar mirror, in the same mirror from a similar stance, from a similar distance and compare the differences that way because that's where you're gonna see far bigger growth. I, there's a lot of people that will put a comment on this video that have come to me and said, Jay, what's going on? 
I've been using the products, I've been doing this, but my beard looks like it's hit a stop. And I, I said, give me five minutes. I'll go and look at the pictures they've uploaded. I'll come back, so I show them the pictures themselves and say, look at that. Within minutes, these guys coming back ecstatic, like, wow, wow, I did not realize that's how my beard grew. And it's that's, that's because that's the best way of showing. If you're watching it constantly, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be what, what, like watching paint dry at the end of the day. So look at it in stages. Other than that, guys, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the beard journey. Enjoy the beard growth. It's a fantastic community. It's a fantastic. It's a fantastic place to be. It's not all about size. It's quality that matters. Drop the stigmas. You don't need to go and buy a lumberjack shirt. You don't need to throw an axe. You don't need to be covered in tattoos. Although what does really help is coffee. I'm only joking, guys. Coffee's just great. <laughs> it doesn't help beard growth. Other than that, guys, that's going to be my last video of this year. There'll probably be another one out early in the new year. Um, I want to get on with some more mental health stuff as well coming into the new year. I want to hopefully get on doing some podcasts, so keep an eye out for that one. Other than that, guys, my last video of the year. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please leave a thumbs up, leave a message, get in touch, leave a comment, subscribe, because next year we're going to hopefully do a big push for the channel and start getting lots of different and varied content out there for you. So also let us know. This is a good one. Let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like to see, some sort of review or something you've got in mind that you think I could do that might entertain you. I can't promise I'll be able to do it. It'll be interesting to see what you've got in mind. Other than that, guys, have a great end to the year. I'll catch you in a new one.